This podcast is brought to you by our friends at Anchor by Spotify. And if you haven't heard about Anchor by Spotify, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. No specialty training or equipment needed. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast worldwide on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. And best of all, like I've been saying, Anchor is totally free. It's free. Download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started and make your podcast dreams a reality. That's anchor.fm. What are you waiting for? Download the app. Let's run the option and give you our picks for the week. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the option week three. And you can still join our option CBS Pick'em League. Just follow the link in our Instagram bio and it'll take you right there. Congratulations to Ready, Willing, and Dayball. This week, you took home the victory. However, on the season, D and I are still tied at the top. Who you got for this week, D? Let's see what we can do. Thursday night. Prime video. <laughs> Steelers at Browns. And are we actually going to see the entire game this week? <laughs> I'm taking the Steelers. Mainly because I have the tight end on their team. So I'm taking the Steelers. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. Mitch is already making a play to go back to the bench. Like, it's amazing. Really Three yes. weeks in. Ah, this is gonna. This is tough. You know what? I think the Browns are gonna. They're gonna learn from Sunday, and I think they're gonna run the ball down the Steelers' throat, especially with T.J. Watt not there. I'm gonna go with the Browns. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. The one and one Saints at the O and two Carolina Panthers. Oh, the Saints are going to go marching in. I'm taking the Saints. This is tough. They were so banged up last week. Camara didn't play. Davis has multiple fractures, apparently. Like, yeah, you know, I, what the hell is going on in New Orleans? Like, this might be the perfect time for the Panthers to get right. I'm going to go with the Panthers at home. The 0-1-1 Houston Texans. Go into Soldier Field to take on the Chicago Bears. I actually wish I could watch this game. I bet it's going to be pretty good. I'm taking the Texans. I believe in, I believe in what they got going on down there. Dare I say, a Lovey Smith revenge game? <laughs> eh? Eh? I'm going with the Texans, too. I like what they're doing. Pierce is a good running back. Longneck, he's not a bad quarterback. He's got Brandon Cooks. He's got O.J. Howard. He's got weapons around him. They just got to keep Justin Fields in check, but after watching the Packers game, it's not that hard. 2-0 Chiefs at the 0-1-1 Indianapolis Colts. Oh, the Chiefs. How about them Chiefs? Colts, are they the most disappointing team in the league, or will we reserve that for the Tennessee Titans? Uh, it's tough to say right now. I'd, I'd say the Colts. Matt Ryan looks god awful. Yeah, it's been bad. It's been atrocious. And once again, you know, proving our point that Matt Ryan is not a great quarterback. Matt Ryan. Matty Ice. Matty Ice. The 2 0 Bills go into Miami to take on the Miami Dolphins. I think Miami puts up a nice fight, but I'm still going to take the Bills. This is interesting. Right? It's at home. It's at home for Miami. That's a home field. That's a definite home field advantage. Last time the Bills played in Miami, they won 35 nothing. Good point. <laughs> Apparently, that home field advantage only works against the Patriots. Patriots are awful down there. Awful. Yeah. I think the, the Dolphins keep it close, but 
the Bills will will come out on top at the end by field goal. Lions at Vikings. This is way more intriguing than it needs to be. <laughs> I'm going to take the Vikings. I think they get their ish together and play better this week. Well, Kirk Cousins showed who Kirk Cousins is. I like what the Lions are doing. Like they're, they are about their business. DeAndre Swift is doing well. Jared Goff is solid. He's solid. He, did, he, had, a, he had a respectable game. I'm going to take the Lions. And I guess you would call that an upset. The one and one Ravens at the one and one New England Patriots. Ah, uh, P- uh, no, not Patriots. Change of mind. I'm going with the Ravens. Yeah, I don't know if that secondary is going to be able to hang with guys like Bateman and Duvernay. They're very fast. Duvernay. They, they are very fast. And he he, re- he proved me right. He returned a kick for a touchdown. So yeah, he's a kick returner. So it's going to be tough. Ramondre Stevenson is going to go off, but I like the Ravens in this close game. The 0-2 Bengals at the 1-1 Jets. I'm going to take the Jets. I think they beat the Bengals last year. I think they'll beat them again this year. The Bengals can't stop anybody. Jets don't really have much of a pass rush, though. That's the one thing. I, I'm not so. I'm not sure about this. You know, like is he, maybe C.J. Mosley will get in. Maybe Quinn and Williams. It, it's about it. You know, I, I really. I, the the strength of the Jets defense is its secondary. It's it's a secondary. It's sauce. It, it's oh, you know. that guy. <laughs> so we'll see if we'll see if sauce if he's on Jamar Chase. That is going to be an intriguing matchup. For the sake of argument, I'll take the Bengals, but I have no confidence in that. I really don't, based on the fact you that may, you may change it in the next couple of days. No, no, I'm a man of my word. It's I am putting this on air. I'm going to keep. I'm going to stick with the Bengals. I'm a man of my word. I'm a man of my word, ladies and gentlemen. My only thing is that is Joe Burrow going to get killed during this game because there's 13 sacks already. How many is too many? We're going to find out. The 0-2 Las Vegas Raiders go into Tennessee to take on the 0-2 Titans. Somebody's always got to go. Yeah, I got to I gotta imagine the Titans are going to win this game. The Raiders, it was such a heartbreaking game. Like, they had the game won. Horrible defensive play. A hold in the end zone. Leads to Kyler Murray running around like a toddler. <laughs> who was had his parents' phone? That was a, I forget. That was a nice little. That was a nice little uh, uh, scouting report on him and his running ability. It's this is hard because the Titans are so underachieving and they're so lackluster. I'm gonna go with the Raiders, and I think Tannehill's benched by the half, and Malik Willis is going. Malik Willis is gonna get a start sooner than you, sooner than later. Malik Willis is going to be in. The 2-0 Eagles at the 1-1 Commanders. The Eagles. The Eagles. Not buying into the Carson Wentz revenge game? Nah. Me neither. Nah. Me neither. Me neither. Me neither. Eagles route. Fly, Eagles fly. All over the counties. Can you take the championship from DNZ? This year, you can play our football pick'em on CBS Sports and compete against us in the option every week. Check the link in our Instagram bio, Fade Brown Podcast, for all the details and to sign up. Then tune into the Fade Brown every week until the Super Bowl for updates and standing. Bring it on. We're into the four o'clock hour, ladies and gentlemen. The one and one Jacksonville Jaguars go into a- LA to take on, but not San Diego, the Los Angeles Chargers. Keep in mind, Herbert's hurt in this game, but we're going to take the Chargers. I'm going to take the Jags. If Herbert's hurt, that can be exploited. The Jags look good. Christian Kirk looks good. It looks like they've gotten something going there. And right now, in that division, 
<laughs> they're in the driver's seat at one and one. 500 may win you this division. Just one game over 500 or one game below 500 might win this division currently because it's that fucking bad. The Rams, 425, go into Arizona to take on the one and one Cardinals. Rams. It's fool's gold, but the Cardinals, I'm going to take the Rams as well. The 0-2 Falcons go into Seattle at Lumen Field to take on the 1-1 one one Seahawks. Huh. I'm going to take the Seahawks. This is tough. This is tough. Drake, Drake London bowling out, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, He's their guy. He's, he's, he leads the league. In, I mean, he leads the team in targets. He's their guy. They're not even trying to get Pitts involved. Pitts, I think, is five receptions, five targets in two games. Yeah, Arthur Smith taking a shot at fantasy football owners. I forgot about that one. But um, Seahawks are bringing the boom back, and I, I have to think that like that's going to gonna be enough for Geno Smith to do his thing because the Falcons' defense is putrid. I'm going to take the Seahawks as well. Putrid. 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 425 Packers at Bucks. Hmm. Bucks. This is this is different. This is difficult. Like Mike Evans isn't gonna play because of the suspension. He is he's got suspended for one game for taking a shot at Marcus Lattimore. And apparently Bruce Arians is on double secret probation because he was going nuts on the sideline. So last week was a very contentious game. Um Yeah, the Bucks are too talented. They might, I mean, Aaron Rodgers may try and go toe-to-toe, but we've seen him go toe-to-toe with that defense, and it never ends well for him. The Bucks also signed Cole Beasley, so I, I'm interested to see, like, what is he going to play, and if he plays, what shape is he in? That's going to be an interesting matchup for me. The Sunday night game, a whole new wrinkle now. The one and one Niners go into the mile high to take on Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos. 49ers. Not even close. Niners win. Russ gets cooked. And your Monday night delight from Giant Stadium. That's right. Giant Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. You got the 1-1 one one Cowboys against my 2-0 and New York football Giants. Yeah, I'm taking the Giants. I believe in what they got going on. 3 and 0. Giants go 3 and 0. You heard it here first. Giants go 3 and 0. They can stifle the run. My only concern is Daniel Jones. That's my only concern. If Trayvon Diggs has a pick, maybe two. The Cowboys can swing it their way, but I think Saquon's going to have a day and going to be probably a 10-point win for the Giants. That sounds about right, especially with Graham Gano, the special teams player of the week. Hmm. If you want to get on the action, we want to hear from you. Hit us up, faderoutemail at gmail.com. Slide in our DMs on IG at faderoutepodcast. Drop us a DM on Twitter at Fade Route DNZ. Comment on our YouTube channel, The Fade Route with DNZ. Questions, comments, picks, segment suggestions, you name it, we want to hear from you. Get at us, in crowd. Uh-huh.